Hello everyone. In this video, I'd like to show you how to create a frequency response plot or Bode plot with the Picascope 2204A. The circuit we are measuring is a simple high-pass filter built with a 1 microfarad capacitor and a 1 kilo ohm resistor. So let's take a look at the circuit in an online calculator and calculate the expected cutoff frequency. All the web links are listed in the video description below. I've measured my components with a multimeter and my resistor is 1008 ohm and the capacitor is 0.92 microfarad. With this values, the calculator gives us a cutoff frequency of around 174 hertz. So let's get started and see if we can reproduce this result with our test circuit. As the standard Picascope software does not offer Bode plots, we need to use a free third-party tool called FRA4 Picascope. This tool requires to have the Picascope SDK in the 32-bit version installed. So go to the Picotech website and download the 32-bit SDK for your model. At the time of making this video, the version is Pico SDK 10.7. 24, 32-bit. Install it on your computer. Next, download the FRA4 Picascope from the website. The current version I used is FRA4 Picoscope 0.80 beta. Install after download. Now make sure your Picoscope is connected to the computer with the provided USB cable and start the FRA4 Picoscope application. So if everything worked out, you should see the application screen and your Picoscope model recognized and ready to go. From the top, we can see the channels assigned. The input channel where input means the circuit input is assigned to channel A of your oscilloscope. The output of your test circuit needs to be hooked up to channel B of your oscilloscope. Next, change the start and stop frequency as needed. For my case, I've chosen 20 Hz to 24 kHz. The steps per decade are fine with 10 steps. Keep in mind, if you increase the number of steps or reduce the start frequency towards one, the measurement significantly takes more time and can be several minutes. Final setting I'd recommend a change is tick the minus 3 dB checkbox. This will plot the minus 3 dB cutoff frequency and reports the value in the result table. Now let's hook up the test circuit. Note that you need three BNC probes, but the Picascope only comes with two. So I improvised and took a solid core wire for connecting the oscilloscope function generator output, labeled AWG. Just slightly bend the stripped of end to have a bit of a spring force and push it into the center of the AWG connector. The connection of the components on the breadboard is straightforward. For easy hookup of the probes and ground clips, I made some wire brackets. The AWG output and the channel, A, probe, is connected to the circuit input, in our case, the plus side of the capacitor. The channel B probe is connected to the circuit output, in our case, the minus side of the capacitor. Finally, it is important to connect the probe's ground clips to the circuit ground, in our case, the minus end of the resistor. That's it. Now hit the go button in the application, and in a few seconds, you should have the Bode plot and result table on your screen. In my case, the cutoff frequency is reported with about 175 hertz, which is pretty close to what we have calculated. I hope this video was helpful, and thanks for watching.